MacBook Air or a Windows gaming laptop. If you are an AI or machine learning student, this one decision can either save you a year of frustration or cost you 1 lakh and months of wasted effort. Everyone compares these two like they are interchangeable, but they are not. That misunderstanding is why so many students regret their laptop purchase after the semester starts. A MacBook can feel insanely powerful for AI until you try the wrong kind of work. On the other hand, a gaming laptop can feel like an overkill until you realize it unlocks the things that Mac simply can't do. The problem isn't the laptop. The problem is choosing without knowing what kind of AI student you actually are. By the end of this video, you won't just know which one is better. You will actually know which one is better for you. So before you buy any laptop, answer this simple but most important question. Are you building AI app or are you training the AI itself? But before we talk about which laptop hardware to buy, Mac or a Windows gaming laptop, we need to talk about what is actually called a logical ladder. This is the roadmap that determines whether you want to build and deploy AI apps or train models using your own custom data. You are choosing between two completely different ways of working with AI, fine tuning and inference. Think of an AI model like a student who just has completed their 12th board exam. Fine tuning is like sending that student to a medical college to become a surgeon. You are taking your smart base model and giving it extra training on a specific data set such as legal codes or medical scans to turn it into an expert. This is heavy sweaty work. It requires an Nvidia GPU machine with raw muscles and powerful fans because the computer has to train for hours and days. But all that heavy lifting or training serves a single purpose to prepare the student for the real world. World. Once that student graduate, they leave the training room and enter the operation theater. They stop learning the rules. They start applying them to the real world. This shift from the intense study to the action is what we call the inference. Inference is simply the expert at work. It is the AI putting its knowledge to use. When you ask a chatbot a question, you aren't teaching it. You're asking it to apply what it already knows. For this, you no longer need the gym. The NVIDIA GPU. Instead, you need a Mac machine with massive unified memory pool to hold the model in its head so it can give you answer instantly. Now whether you want to train an AI model using your custom data or want to build and deploy an AI app, let's break down what hardware do you actually need for each of these cases. So let's move from the logical ladder toward the hardware ladder. So if you are on a strict budget, the RTX 3050 with 6GB of VRAM is your entry ticket because it gives you access to CUDA, which is the universal language of AI training. Stepping up to the RTX 4050 with 6GB of VRAM gives you about 30% more speed and better cooling. But the real gold standard for your students is the RTX 4060 with 8GB of VRAM. But what happens when you move to the Apple Silicon Ladder, which acts more like a high-speed library for app developers. The M3 is currently the budget king for students, offering a massive jump over the older M2. But you must avoid the 8GB RAM model at all costs. On the other hand, the M4 chip is the new modern standard, coming with 16 extra gigabytes of RAM by default and a neural engine that is twice as fast as the M3. Then you have the newest launch M5 chip, which is absolute inference beast. It features a brand new neural accelerator Reader, making it four times faster at AI task than the M4 chip. Because of the Apple's unified memory, a MacBook with 24GB of RAM can run smarter. Larger models than an RTX 3050 or 4060 simply can't open. That is because unlike the limit on the VRAM of a GPU, the M series chip can also share the memory from that unified pool. Which means the same memory that is used as a RAM can also be used as the VRAM for the neural GPU. So if you have picked your side on the logical ladder as well as on the hardware ladder, the next step is to start building. But there is a silent performance killer waiting for you, the internal storage strap in the MacBook. So when you pick a MacBook Air based model, you likely end up getting the 256 GB of SSD. In the world of AI, this isn't just a small, it's a productivity killer. Clean Mac OS install already eats 50 GB. Once you add the Anaconda environments, PyTorch libraries and local models with like the Llama 3 or even the DeepSeq 14B, your drive will be full before the semester even ends. So instead of paying the Apple's massive upgrade great tax for the 512 GB SSD, stick with the 256 GB base variant and buy a high speed external NVMe SSD. And for the pro tip that I have used myself, you can buy an internal SSD plus an external case, which can reduce the cost by 2 to 3 thousand. This setup gives you pro level of workstation on a strength budget. But how do you train a massive model on a thin MacBook? without it melting in your hands. You don't need the 2 lakh rupee MacBook Pro to train heavy models. The smartest move in 2025 or even in 2026 is to use your Mac for clean code and testing and offload the heavy material to the cloud 
for free while google collab is excellent for prototyping its free subscription is infamous for disconnecting you so to stop collab from killing your session here's a simple javascript hack to get it started just right click and inspect and jump over to the console tab from there you can paste the script you see on the screen or for the faster setup just copy the script from the pinned comment in the video once you hit the enter the code handles the rest keeping your connection rock solid while you step away this allows you to develop your code locally on the macbook air and then push the heavy lifting onto the cloud even with a perfect cloud setup there's one final wall you might hit that even the hardware can't fix this is what we call a software barrier hardware specs are useless if the software won't even run in today's world the ai is still built around the cuda the secret weapon of the nvidia that's why we call nvidia the backbone of the ai industry almost every search paper is written for nvidia first if you choose a macbook you are one of the first people using the metal mps while the frameworks like the pytorch now support the mac using the pytorch mps the cutting edge research tools are often buggy or unsupported so before you buy any laptop check your syllabus if your professor is still using the traditional step-by-step -step guide for windows and nvidia buying a macbook is like bringing an electric car to the petrol pump so check with your seniors if your course mentions CUDA on libraries the RTX 3050 is a requirement but if you are building the modern AI apps the MacBook Air M4 is the ultimate developer's tool so if you have checked your syllabus and you know whether you need raw muscles of the CUDA or the silent speed of the Apple Silicon it's time to look at the actual price tag by the way if you are a student on a strict budget under 70,000 stay away from the 8GB max look for at least an RTX 3050 with 6GB of VRAM for the smart student sweet spot the RTX 60 in the HP Victor's Lenovo Legion or the Tough is the gold standard for training. However, if you want a silent long lasting machine for building apps, building the rack pipelines or connecting the LLM to your AI app, the MacBook Air M4 with 16GB of RAM is the perfect choice. But if you can spend an extra, I would prefer to go with the 24GB of RAM for the future proofing. However, if you have a premium budget over 1.6 lakh rupees, the MacBook Pro M5 with at least 16GB of unified memory is in a league of its own and also it is used by most of the AI ML engineers. Pick your budget, check your syllabus and make your first move. By the way, if you have a certain budget or a specific workflow, check out my AI ML laptop buying guide masterclass on the link over here. So in that video, I break down the four type of student category and I also recommended the laptop based on their specific workflow. So if you have decided which side are you on, Windows Gaming Laptop or MacBook Silicon, you can find the best buying links for the current laptops in India in the description down below. So that's it for the video. If this helped you clear your confusion, drop a comment, hit subscribe and don't forget to like. Thanks for watching, stay awesome and I will see you in the next one.